OK, so ladies and gentlemen, what we have is we have a set of points. We have negative 4, 12, 0, 7, 9 comma negative 1, and 10 comma negative 5. We can plot all these points onto a graph right, and find the inverse. I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. I don't want to, for time purposes, I'm not going to plot all these points. I'm just going to plot one and then show you how to find the inverse of the rest. Okay? So one thing I want you guys to understand about inverses, it doesn't matter if I'm talking about a function as a continuous function, like a, you know, a polynomial or a line, or if I'm saying a function is a set of points. All, right? all functions, we talked about last class period how to find the inverse, right? It was an algebraic step-by-step -step process, which I'll review again today. But when finding the inverse, it was a step-by-step -step process that we did. Now, when we look at this graphically, how, well, how is the inverse represented? Well, there's one very, very important thing you guys need to understand about inverses compared to their functions. Inverses are reflected over the identity line from their function, which is the line y equals x. All right? So y equals x is going to be the line of symmetry between a function and its inverse. Right, Ken? Okay. So if, you have, if I graph a function, what I need to do, if I want to find the graph of the inverse, I'm going to reflect it about that line. Now, that kind of gets a little difficult sometimes because you guys obviously know how to reflect over the y-axis, right? That's what you first learned. Reflect over the y, reflect over the x. Reflect over the origin is over both of them, right? Now we're just going to be reflecting over our x, y line. All right? So it's going to get a little bit crazy and different when we're looking at this. So rather than doing all these points or showing you how to do it with the graph, let's just go ahead and graph. Let's do one of these. So what if I asked you to graph negative 4, 12? Negative 1, 2, 3, 4, up 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that point's going to be somewhere. Right there. Right? Everybody agree with me? That's negative 4, 12. So now if I was going to reflect it, not over the y-axis. The y-axis would be like here. X-axis would be like down there. right? So if I want you to reflect this over the x-y line, this point is then going to be somewhere around here. Now I know everything's not perfect that I have, but I, if you guys are reflect about, it's going to be roughly about that point. I know my graph kind of looks a little rough, but let's kind of see where this would be at. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And my intervals are a little off. But you guys can see that 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4. What we have is 12 comma, oops, no wonder. It's supposed to be down here. There you go. No wonder that didn't make sense. Sorry. OK. If you're going to reflect over this line, it's going to look something like this, not up there. I don't know what I was thinking. No wonder it looked wrong. If you're going to take this down here, look it. Here, reflect it over this line. It's now, it's below this line. So therefore, you can say it'd be low, it's below, it's to the left of this axis. So it's going to be below this axis, right? Does it kind of see how this would, if you reflected this over, how it'd be under that x axis? What I want you guys to understand is, notice the difference between my function, right? And then notice what the new x and y coordinates are. To find the new x and y coordinates, what did I do with them? I just, yeah, I just switched them. I just swapped them. When we did this algebraically, do you guys remember step number two? Once you got y equals da 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 da, da x, what, did, what was the next step you did? You swapped the x and the y, right? So if I give you a plot of points and I say find the inverse, all we simply know is the inverse of our points have the exact opposite x and y's. So if here's my relation or my function, and I say, what is the inverse of it? Well, all I'm going to do is just plot in my new points negative 4, 7, 0, negative 1, 9, and negative 5, 10. So if this is my function or relation, the inverse is just going to be the x and y intercepts switched over. Okay? Because that what that does is that reflects it when you switch them, it reflects it over the xy line or the yx line. Okay? y equals x line. Whatever. Yes, question. That's it. Fine.